Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian Mitzion. Today we're doing Masechah Seirvin Perak Zayin in the seventh Perak Mishnah Yaschet and Tet. Mishnah Chet starts off. Kamahu Shiro. What's the shear of blank? What is the shear of blank? So, if you read the previous Mishnah, so we're talking about Shetufim Abuls, right? You're you're a bunch of houses on one street. You want to join together in the street, right? It's not talking about Erevich Hatzeres. You want to join in the courtyard. You have five houses opening to one courtyard or to one backyard or front yard. You want to join the houses together. You have a duplex or something like that. So we're not talking about Erevich It's not a Shlumim Abuls, right? So here, presumably, we're talking about it also. So what's the share for Shlumim Abuls? There's not a Shem Arub in Mazel Shetayis When there's 18 people or more, then you need the amount of food for two meals for one person, which is basically equals 18 Krogros. So 18 people... Each person has the amount of a gregarious for them. And it was Man Shane Water, when less than 18 people, you need a gregarious for each of them. The Khaj of the mission is that if you have more than 18 people, you have 30 people, 18 grogos is fine. Mazon Shtay Sudas is okay. Mishnah Tet states, I'm a Ryosi Medra Amur and Matkilas Ayro, the Shuri of Kolshu. When did they say this shear if you have 18 people, you need a Shwazon Shtay Sudas, less a gregarious for everyone? That's only talking about when you originally made the Ayrov. But if in the middle of Shabbos some of the Erev was eaten by somebody, that's still okay. You can still take out from your house to the Chatzar and to, and to the street. Now, it should be noted in Mishnah Tet, it says, Tilas Erev, right? I'm a Shira Erev Kol Shehu. And Riyasi is presumably going on the previous Mishnah. I mean, he's explaining the previous Mishnah. So from Mishnah Tet, it seems that in Mishnah Ches, we're talking about Erev, not Shitu. Shitu in Mabos is called Shituf, partnership. Erev Chatzar is Erev like a mixture. So it seems, even though when you read Mishnah Ches, coming off Mishnah, Mishnah Zion and Mishnah Vav, we thought we were talking about Shetunim Abuls, but for Mishnah Ted, it seems we're talking Mishnah Ches about Erev. Which one are you talking about? So the answer is, I'd like to say, even though most ex- Mepharshim explain Mishnah Ches, we talk about Shetunim Abuls, I don't believe that's the case. I believe the case in Mishnah Ches, like Mishnah Ted implies, is that we're talking already about Erev Echatzeros. By Erev Echatzeros, we said before, it has to be specifically bread. Right? It has to be bread. Why does it have to be bread? Because... Unlike Erev Etchumen, where the point is there, Mekona Shvisa, where you're resting, and it's not based on your, your your meal, it's based on, you know, where you're lounging. So <clears throat> you can put technically any food over there. You can have a snack there because people lounge with a snack. You can rest with some snack. But by Erev Echatzeros, the point is you want to join the Chatzar to everyone join a meal together. Everyone join a meal, meal of Shabbos. You feel comfortable joining the meal together. That's how you do Erev Echatzeros. Erev is from Lashon of Mixture. People feel mixing, comfortable mixing with each other. That's the content of the Erev Echatzeros. Erev Echatzeros, we feel, we're, you know, Erev Echatzeros, right, it's not about people mixing together. It's about I'm mixing my old Echatzeros with a new Echatzeros. That's what you're doing. You're mixing, right, you're taking from, you know, the, your, your normal city borders and you're mixing it with new city borders, right? You're making Kona Shvisa so that you get to travel a little further. You're mixing the Echatzeros, Erev Echatzeros. Erev Echatzeros is a mixture of people. You want the people in the different houses to be joined together in the chatzar, to come eat in the courtyard together, have a joint meal in the chatzar together. That's what every chatzar is. So you have to have a gogeris for each person. And the, the shear is mazon shte sudos. If it's less than 18 people, so then you have a gogeris for each person. Each person eats a gogeris, is a certain a kosh of amount of food that is important because that's a share for hotzas. To remind you, you shouldn't carry from shayach to shayach. If you have 18 people, even if you have more than 18 people, you have 100 people, all you need is mazon shte sudos. Because you need two meals. On Shabbos, you only have to have two bread meals, right? So therefore, you're Kona, your Shvisa, by being comfortable eating a meal together. When people are comfortable with each other, they eat meals together, right? People you invite over to your house or your friends or your guests, the people you feel comfortable with, usually. So <clears throat> that's the concept of Erech Hatzeros. Mosin Shtei Sudos is the share bread, right? And that's the and that's right. And that's the important halakha. However, when it comes to Shitufa and Mavos, it's a different lashon. Shitufa is from Shitav on partnership. Partnerships... People are partners, business partners. People are sharing money or sharing assets, right? So we mentioned the previous Mishnah that the previous yesterday we talked about you have a barrel. A barrel is not probably bread. There's no barrels of bread. A barrel presumably of wine or oil or something like that. Everyone wants to have a part. Your mazaka, you acquire ownership for other people, right? Each one should have. I don't believe the shear is a grogeris for each person. I believe the shear is a shava pruta because it's a business partnership. When it comes to traveling into your common street, so there Chazal understood it because it's in the street, you're not going to eat a meal, right? You're not going to eat a meal in the street. It's a public place. I mean, it's still not a Sharabim, but it's a, it's, it's, it's a public place. You're not going to eat a meal in the street. You'll eat a meal in your, in your front yard. That's common. You'll have a picnic in your front yard. So either in your front yard, 
that's Chazal made around the past about eating bread. You feel comfortable with each other. That's the way you show that you're all one unit. But when it comes to a public street, there's no way of doing that by saying we're all going to join together a meal. So they made, let's each have a partnership. We'll own the street together. We'll own the street together. How do we own the street together? Take a barrel and each person have a shava pruta worth. You don't have to have a grogeris um, if it's a barrel fig. You don't have to have a for each person. You have to have a shava pruta. That's why I believe the share is for doing most. Shava pruta, it's a monetary uh, union that you're doing by each person owning a part of a barrel together. So you know, you're business partners. Therefore, the street which is a place where you're not going to eat, the way to do shtif mavuz is a business partnership, and therefore I believe the correct shear for that, every person has to have uh, a shava pruta, that's a monetary, the minimum share for a monetary unit, for monetary halacha, so therefore I believe it's shava pruta, and the Mishnah here is talking about a gogeris, a food of bread, which is erve chatseros, which is centered around eating together, air of mixing people, inviting people, eating as one unit. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you on the next one.